Hey, it's Michelle Nesky, PA School Admissions Expert, otherwise known as the Posh PA, and today I'm gonna to give you one secret that is going to change the way you approach your PA school applications and your pre-PA journey. But before I do that, if you haven't already, smash this subscribe button. You know I'm here every week, dropping new tips to help you get into PA school, become a successful student, and a fulfilled practicing PA. All right. Now I can sit here and give you all the tips in the world on applications, right? And I can tell you what counts as PCE or HCE, patient care or healthcare experience. I can tell you how to enter things on CASPA. I can give you tips on how to start your personal statement. And by the way, I have videos on all of these things in my library, so be sure to check them out. But there's something you need to know about your pre-PA journey that a lot of people will not do. And it's a secret, but it's also not. It's just something that people aren't used to engaging in. And that secret is growth mindset. What do I mean by that? Our brains have neuroplasticity and this process of applying to PA school, getting into PA school, surviving PA school, transitioning into your career as a PA, all require one thing and that is a growth mindset. And if you don't have it, it is going to be stressful and difficult for the entire process. So what do I mean by growth mindset? So let's start with the pre-PA. So for pre-PAs, you know, there's a lot of things we have to do to be able to even apply to PA school, right? Get patient care experience, shadowing, volunteer work, get good grades, all the things, write a personal statement all the while trying to balance all of this together and then comparing yourself to other people and then having that self-doubt and that imposter syndrome that you're not doing it right or that you're not as competitive as somebody else. That is a limiting mindset, okay? Those are limiting beliefs and a limiting mindset. So we have to change the way we approach applications and each step through the process. We have to work through that with a positive outlook to be able to be successful overall. So for example, instead of saying to yourself, you know, I don't have as much as Jan on my PA school application, my GPA is not competitive, you know, I don't have a lot of patient care experience, I don't even know what I'm doing. We change that into something like, I may not have what Jan has, but I have this and I'm working towards being a better applicant every day. I may not have the same GPA as everybody else, but I've shown an upward trend and this is what I've done. I may not have an extensive background in mission work or volunteer work, but I also have unique strengths that I bring to the table. This process is arduous, but I am working every day to make myself better and be a successful applicant. And if you can start talking to yourself in that manner and learn the techniques to be able to change your limiting beliefs now, that is only gonna help you not only get into PA school, but be a successful student and a fulfilled practicing PA, okay? Because the work doesn't stop when you're PA school. It's even more stressful. It's even more time consuming. It's, it's even more doubt, right? And so if you cannot figure out ways in your mind to reframe your failure, then you're gonna take five steps backwards and no steps forward, all right? So it's what we call the thought change model and it's taking your circumstance and it is what is your thought around that circumstance? What is that feeling? What is the action and what is the outcome? And instead of making those all negative, we switch them to positive. Our brains, like I said before, are neuroplastic, which means they can create new thoughts and new beliefs all the time, but we have to train our brains like a muscle, like any other workout we would do to train our muscles, to start believing and thinking in that way. And when you do that as a pre-PA, you start to become more mature. You start to realize differences in your relationships. You start to realize strengths in yourself and in the process, not feeling defeated and stressed all the time, right? Same thing goes when you're in PA school. And look, it's not gonna be like that every day. You're gonna have bad days. I'm not gonna sit here and say, I do that every day and my life is hunky-dory. 
No, but as much as possible, any obstacle or barrier that I face, I turn into growth, okay? Because failure really is growth. So if you can learn and not focus on, I failed this, but focus on what you learned from it, you will only continue to gain confidence, belief in yourself, and change the way you look at stressful scenarios, okay? So to me, it is the best kept secret in the pre-PA process, and it's something that I work with my clients on throughout the journey, okay? Yeah, I can give you all the application tips in the world. Yeah, you can have a badass personal statement, but if you don't have any belief that you're actually gonna get into PA school, it's not gonna happen. I've seen it. I can take the best applicant, put them in an interview, and they're self-deprecating, or there's always that doubt you can feel behind them, and then they don't get in, right? So I work with my applicants to make sure that we are confident and we are changing those opinions and changing those thoughts throughout our time. And a tool that has been very, very useful for me personally over the years is an app called Growth Day. Growth Day was created by Brendan Bouchard, who's one of the world's greatest thought leaders. And he hosts tons of the world's greatest experts in personal growth and mindset within the app. Every day he delivers a daily fire. And I listen to that every day. And what does that do? It just sets the tone for the day and it starts to change the way I approach everything I do that day. And listening to that 10 to 20 minutes a day has changed the course of my life. It also changes the people that I want to surround myself with. And when you're going through this pre-PA process, you need positive people in your life. When you're in PA school, you need positive people in your life. You cannot surround yourself by toxic negative relationships or energy because that is not gonna serve you and your growth and figuring out what success looks like and feels like to you, both as a pre-PA, both as a student and as a practicing PA. That was a really hard thing for me to do as a practicing PA. What does success look like in my career as a practicing PA? Does it mean going balls to the wall and working every day, working long hours, overtime, call, all of those things? Does it mean being involved in 700 professional development activities on top of my clinical responsibilities? Or does it involve me creating something that allows me to be home more for my family yet still practice and give back to the PA community? It's all about perception and other people's perception of you that's gonna put you into this negative mindset if you decide to do something a little bit outside the box. So it's really up to you to determine what you want success to look like and feel like for yourself. And that is something that I have had to do over the course of my career. And if you get into PA school, it's what you're gonna have to do over the course of yours. And so starting these daily habits of personal growth every day as a pre-PA and as a PA student will only help you in the future determine you know, what kind of career you wanna have as a PA, what kind of life you wanna have as a person, and how you can create positive thoughts and beliefs around it. So, I'm excited to share that, you know, I am able to share with you this amazing tool called Growth Day that I use every day in my life. The link to look at Growth Day and learn more about it and even purchase a subscription is down in the comments. If you have any questions about it, please drop a comment or reach out to me on Instagram at michelle.theposhpa. But I will tell you, this is the best kept secret. And in my opinion, after working with hundreds and hundreds of pre-PA students, it has been the thing that when you can embrace this, becomes the switch that I see in applicants. They make a switch. They start to believe that they can do this. They start to feel like they can do it. They get this confidence. They get this motivation. They start to attack the application rather than letting the application attack them. So to me, it's the best kept secret in this process. I hope that you take advantage of this amazing opportunity and work with me throughout the process so that I can help you with your personal growth from being a pre-PA to a PAC. I'll see you next time. Thank you.